Are you struggling to name the places in your world? Are you just not quite sure what names sound good for them? Or what would be a logical name for the place? Well, here are four ways that places were named throughout history that you can use in your own world. Location has often been used to name places. It could be the exact place that a city is built, or the environment around the place, or how it compares to the place that the people there now are originally from. These are all ways of naming places. A place could be named the Drylands, or a name that's derived from Drylands, like Dryland, because it is dry compared to where the people who now live there are originally from. Or, a city could be named Tahil, after the great hill it is built upon, mean the hill. Or like, in the real world, we have Mesopotamia, which means the land between two rivers. A place can also be named after a person or people who live there, or had lived there. Were, was there a people living there before other people came? then maybe the land is named after them. Is the place known for a specific group of people who rule that area? Maybe it's named after them. Like you have France, which comes from Francia, mean land of the Franks. Was the place that the city is now built once a farmer's field? Was it John's field? Well, maybe the city is John's field or John field once it has morphed to the length of time people have lived there. That's another thing to remember. Names will morph and become simpler to say the longer people live there. Like a place might originally be John's Field and then become John Phil. Also, a place can be named after an event that happened there. Was there a great battle that happened there? Is it some past that during a war, a great and fierce battle happened at? Maybe it's now called the Red Pass after all the blood that ran there. Or was an agreement made there? Maybe it's named after that. If an important event or well-known event happened somewhere, the place might take upon itself that name. Also, places could be named to give them a feeling or a meaning. Like the city of New York. It is named after the city of York in England to make the feel of that place that those, that those people were, were from. Though originally it was called New Amsterdam, though that was for the exact same reason. Also, a place might be given a name for symbolism. Also, a place might be given a name for symbolism. Like maybe the founder of this city expects it to become the capital of a great kingdom, so he gives it an appropriate name for that. Or maybe the namers of a place just desire it to have a name that has meaning to the people, like how the state of Washington got its name. Now these four methods are four very good methods for naming locations, but they're not the only methods. So see what you can find and use them.